Welcome to this free CAD radius measurement tool tutorial. In this tutorial, we will explore how to create a custom macro that allows you to measure the radius of selected edges in free CAD. Let's get started. First, let's understand the script. Firstly, we need to import the required modules. We import the free CAD module as app, free CAD GUI module as GUI, part module and QT GUI module from the PySide library. These modules will provide us with the necessary functionality for our radius measurement tool. Next, we define a class called Measure Circle. This class will encapsulate the functionality of our radius measurement tool. Inside the class, we define the constructor method underscore underscore init underscore underscore, which initializes the curve attribute as none and calls the show underscore edge underscore selection underscore popup method. The show underscore edge underscore selection underscore popup method displays a popup message instructing the user to select an edge. We make use of the QTGUI.Q message box dot information function to show the popup message. Additionally, we register the current instance as an observer of the selection events in the free CAD GUI using the GUI.selection.addObserver self method. The add selection method is called whenever a new selection is made in the free CAD GUI. Inside this method, we retrieve the selected object and its shape. If the selected subshape is an edge, we call the on underscore edge method to process the selected edge and then call the finish method to complete the measurement and display the radius. In the finish method, we check if a curve circle was detected during the measurement. If a curve is present, we retrieve its radius and call the show underscore radius underscore popup method to display a popup message with the measured radius. Finally, we unregister the current instance as an observer of the selection events. The show underscore radius underscore popup method displays a popup message with the measured radius. We format the message text with the measured radius value and use the QTGUI.Q message box dot information function to show the popup. Lastly, we define the on underscore edge method, which is called when an edge is detected during the measurement. Inside this method, we check if the detected curve is of type part dot circle and store it in the curve attribute. Now that we have defined our measure circle class and its methods, we create an instance of the class measure circle. And that's it. You have successfully understood the macro of a radius measurement tool and free CAD. Feel free to customize and enhance the tool according to your needs. Let's implement this tool. Launch free CAD. Click here. Click on Macros. Click on Create button to create a new macro. Define macro name. New window will open. We will copy Python script. And will paste here. Next step is to add a tool. Select name and click on toolbar. Click OK. Let's add icon. Click on add button. Close this window. Select part design workbench to display icon. Give reference name. Add this script. And close. Select part design workbench. You can see that tool is added here. Now we will make a cylinder and we will measure its radius with this tool. Select sketch under added body. Select plane and click OK. 
Click on Circle Tool. Please keep auto constraints on. Click on Radius Constraint to provide radius. We will define 50 millimeters. You can see that sketch is fully constrained. Click on Pad Tool to extrude this sketch. Now we will use our tool to measure radius. For the first time, execute from here. Script is executed. Now click on this tool. Click OK and select edge. You see the radius of selected edge. Now we will import external file and we will use this tool to measure radius for imported part edges. Close this document. Create a new document and import part. Select part and click on open button. Part is imported successfully. Now observe magic of this tool. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We hope you found it helpful. Happy modeling!